called a Daniel. He's going to work in a half stance to start. Okay. Flip the ball. All he is is working on his timing. So we're going to get a little pre pitch going. Here we go. Let's talk about pre pitch. So yes, please. Pre pitch is like an infielder getting to his ready position right here. And that's what we have to do every single time. So the pre pitch is going to be right here in his hips. His hips are going to slightly go forward. That's it. Just a little bit slide forward. His weight is going to come from his heel to the middle of his foot. We don't want to get up on our toes because now we're messed up. We're out of balance. So think about ski ball or like you're, you're sliding something on a slick surface. It's just sliding forward. We're sliding forward about two inches, three inches, depending on your flexibility and getting our body going in a linear path towards the baseball. So we're gonna when the when your hand gets here or we're throwing overhand, that's when we're gonna start the pre-pitch. We're getting our timing because who gives us our timing? Pitcher. So you get a guy throwing 92, you get a thumber throwing 78, you have to pick up that timing based on their velocity. So pre-pitch, nice in there. It's gonna try to let that ball travel as deep as possible. Boom. So we went progression from a half squat into a full squat. He kind of went deeper into a full squat. Okay, just get your right foot moving just a little bit sooner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a little bit of a push, okay? So that we, so that you guys can see a little bit more. Let's let's exaggerate this a little bit, okay? So I'm here. We're really working through the ball. All right, even a little bit more than Daniel was. We're cheating. Right? We're That's cheating. That's right. We're cheating. But here's here's the thing. When we're all playing with the ball, nobody, nobody will notice. Okay, when do when do coaches notice? Like if you go to showcase, when do coaches notice? Why well, you go this way? When you go that way. How does your butt get up in the air? Your weight gets on your toes. Alright, that's right. And if we go up this way, not only does everyone know we're cheating, but we've also just lost efficiency and power out of our lower half. But again, when we see video analysis, we see some guys. They come up and out, and then they have to drop back down in order for themselves to get engaged in their legs. Now they lose time because they're adding extra steps into the throwing process. So we want we want to essentially to be taken off as Daniel's moving, good low base as he's coming through catch and through release. And we're not even going to we're not even going to talk about release yet and late extension at this point. But we have to make sure that we're walking or sliding through the ball out of reach of the glove, and I see that some guys get confused on what they think the pre pitch means that they are kind of bouncing into their legs. Their leg, it's not a coil. It's not a coil. It's just working your center of gravity through your base, through the catch. So we're going to do like four or five minutes of this. We'll go half squat. Because you guys are a little bit older, we'll follow my partner. Okay, let me go. a little bit older we can work off of one shin guard and the other okay and then get to your launch position and hold right? hold in your launch position so that we can see where's my arm angle now which one was that proper or improper but, that's right he's, he's he's testing you guys okay what else did he do that was improper speedo's the only one that knows no no he went out. Why did he reach out though? Where was the pitch? He was out there. Okay. I had a right. poor pre-pitch, so I had to reach. If I had a better pre-pitch, I could let that ball come and be able to catch it deeper and make my transfer. And this just kind of goes off of our, our, our teaching points for last clinic. Take your hips to the ball. Where are you taking your hips, Coppice? To the ball. Oh, yeah. right there. There we go. Move the ball, shit left shin guard, right shin guard on your partner, and just work him a little bit. Okay, make sure that he's not only pre-pitching towards the towards the pitcher and off plane, but laterally, which is Come back here and come back here in about seven minutes.